Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, if you can already tell by the title, I'm going to join Pottermore and find out which house I belong in. Because I don't know why I've never done this before. I really should have done it ages ago. Apparently you can find out what your wand would be made of and what your Patronus would be, which I think is really fucking awesome. So let's find that ish. Okay, so I'm on Pottermore. Why Lupin and Tonks' romance is one of Harry Potter's greatest tragedies. Read. Eh, no thank you. I'm not over that still. I don't need an emotional breakdown. Quite yet. Um, join, because I've never joined before. I was born in April, 94. 2017? Why the fuck are you letting someone join in 2000? What? Confirm. Um, a oh fuck's sake. I'm just gonna come back to you when I've done all this shit. Okay, so I'm done, and I'm gonna now do the join your Hogwarts house, bitch, you know. Oh, for fuck's sake, I have to verify my email. Can I do that on my phone? Right, okay, so we're gonna do the quiz right now. I don't know how to share the screen, so we're just gonna have to... I'll read it out. Hopefully it doesn't go too fast. Forest or river? Probably the river, because forest at night time, you get some scar shit, and I don't need that in my life. Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger? The cold? Ooh. Loneliness? Oh, that's... Oh my god, am I gonna have an emotional breakdown doing this? <laughs> I fucking hope not. Boredom or being ignored. I'm fine with being ignored because I'm a boss ass bitch that so doesn't really care. Boredom, I'm never really bored and if I do I just eat so that's completely fine. I'll probably be loneliness to be honest. After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Miss you but smile. Ask for more stories about your adventures. Oh, that's kind of cute. Think with admiration of your achievements. Ooh, no, I'm not a boastful person at all. I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. I would probably have Miss You But Smile because it shows that they're coping. Which nightmare would frighten you the most? Standing on top of something very high, realizing suddenly that there are no hand or footholds nor any barrier to stop falling. Oh my god, bitch, I'd probably... Do the whole jumpy thing in the middle of the night if that happened to me. An eye at the keyhole of the dark, a windowless room in which you are locked. Mm, that's whatever. Waking up to find that neither your friends nor your family have any idea who you are. Oh my god, that'd be quite interesting though, wouldn't it? Because you could totally just play with the minds. Be a new person. Being forced to speak in such a silly voice that hardly anyone can understand you and everyone laughs at you. Well, that fucking happened to me before I hit puberty anyway, so... I probably the standing on top of something very high because I don't like those ones, it gives me the fear in the boat. The boat is a Scottish word for it, it makes me want to vomit. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition into separation. Oh my god. Yes, bitch. I want to learn that. That would be really cool, actually. Transfiguration. Turning one object into another object. Um, yeah. Flying on a broom. No. Hexes and jinxes. Yeah. About all magical creatures and how to befriend, forward slash care for them. Probably not that one because, no. I don't want to get bitten by something. Thank you very much. Secrets about the castle. No. Every area of magic I can't. Okay, that's just a basic bitch one. Probably the apparition and disapparition because oh my god, that'd be so fucking cool. Imagine. You enter an enchanted garden. What would you be most curious to examine first? The silver leafed tree bearing gold apples. Mmm. Intriguing. Are they cost? Do they cost money? Because if so, I'm gonna I'm gonna take them and fucking sell them. The fat red toast stools that appear to be talking to each other. Mm, whatever. The bubbling pool in the depths of which something luminous is swirling. I have to like run away from that. I don't want Lord Voldemort to fuck come out and get me. No, it could be him. The statue of an old wizard with a strangely twinkling. Aye. Probably the golden apples, because you know, <laughs> can I pick them and take them? Mm -hmm. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you take with you? Oh my god, there is like 50 options. 50 options for this one. That's an exaggeration, but there's a lot. A tabby cat, a Siamese cat, a ginger cat, a black cat, a white cat, a screech owl, brown owl, snowy owl, barn owl, common toad, you, toad, no, toad, no, no to the toad. Okay, so probably the tabby cat. Yeah, we'll go with the tabby cat. Left or right? Ooh. Right, because I'm right-handed. Oh, hi, bitch. It's done. I want you to comment right now what house you think I would be in and see if you get it right. Don't just fucking lie and then fast forward the videos when I actually reveal what it is and be all bitch-ass Boston in the comments below saying, oh, huh. 
I got it right. Better fucking write that comment right motherfucking now. Okay? Do it now. I can wait. Okay, you done? Okay. Congratulations on being sorted into Hufflepuff. Oh my god, Tonks. Love it already. Okay, so why don't you tell me below? Have you done Pottermore before? What house are you in? Let me know, please. Are you in Hufflepuff too? Are we Hufflepuff buddies? Oh my god, that was a mouthful. Oh my god, Newt Scamander was in Hufflepuff as well. The Hufflepuff traits are loyal, patient, fair, hardworking, and true. Oh my god, that is so true about me. Love it. That was it for today's video. I'm quite happy that I'm in Hufflepuff. After looking into it a little bit more, I was a bit sceptical to begin with. If you're in Hufflepuff, let me know because Hufflepuff just got a hell of a bit more sassy with me in this bitch, okay? And I will see you when I see you for another video. Bye, guys.